Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name's Alexis, my husband's name is Brandon, and about a year ago we sold our house in town to move to the country to learn to homestead. So in this video, what you're going to be seeing is us, basically the after effects of us loading our calf, our heifer. She's not a calf. <laughs> our heifer onto the trailer to take her to processing. This will be the first one we've done, so I hope you enjoy the video. So first, heifer on the trailer, taking her to processing. How do you feel about this? Um, I'm ready for her to leave. I think the other two cows will be able to handle. She's just very large and mean. Um, so I think it went well though. Like loading them, I feel like if we would have pushed a little more in the beginning, it wouldn't have taken as long. But so I started out by myself before Lexi got out here, loading them and our new calf, loaded right up. She went right out and loaded up. We would have separated them, but it stormed last night and it's so mucky back there, chasing them right now would not have been a good idea. So So the problem we ran into was we had a cow on the trailer eating hay that we didn't want on the trailer, and then we had the other two trying to come through the gate also. So Brandon kind of did his thing and then finally I just got in the front of the trailer and I pushed Matea, which is our black calf, off um, and she did fine with that. Um, and then once she was off, we had kind of like a corral. So I had the gate open and the trailer gate and then we got her out and slowly gave a bucket of feed to the cow that we're taking to the butcher. And then once she got on the trailer, there was a feed bucket waiting for her to keep her there. So Brandon could get off the trailer and come and help me shut the gate and everything. I think it worked well, honestly. Um, next time, we'll kind of know how to do it. And like I said, I think the other two will handle better. Yeah, I think the other two we have are a lot gentler. Um, she has been a handful since about midsummer. She just wants to chase us around and throw us around and headbutt us. And We just so, didn't have enough people to film. No. And it's super windy. So I tried to set up a camera to film, but it blew over, so if I get any footage, I'll insert that. So mid-eastern Indiana, this time of year, yesterday it was 74, today it's like 42. So yesterday would have been a great day to do this, but our actual date is not until tomorrow, and I have to work this evening, so we're going to try to take her in here right at 1 o'clock and get her off the trailer. So one thing we haven't talked about is that we're using, we're going to try to use everything that we have off this calf. Heifer. Calf heifer. She's not a calf anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, so Brandon I thought I was crazy at first because I wanted the organ meat, I wanted the bones. Uh, I wanted the fat. I'm going to try to render down tallow and make soaps or cook with it. We're going to make bone broth. Um, so our goal is every to use every bit of the animal that we can because that's what their purpose is. So why let that go to waste? So we're going to try to start making a video a week, seeing how we can do with that. Get a little bit more now that summer is rolling around. We went yesterday and bought a whole trailer worth of lumber. So we've got several projects that are going to be happening out here on our farm. Um, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> the brown heifer is pregnant. Hopefully. A lot's went on. We've been really busy, and it's just been hard balancing everything. But... So we did have a bull out here for a while, which we have some clips. We'll try to find and get a video made of that. Um, it'll be kind of out of order. But he walked through fences. He <laughs> tore down half of our fence posts but not because he was mean just because no, he, he was just large wanted, he, he wanted to get to the other the other cow that we had separated this black and white one um we don't think that this one is bred but at this stage 
If so, it's only been like a month. And with her attitude, it would be extremely hard. We're getting to where the brown one we can pet. We can. She walks up to us. She doesn't try to ram us. It's took a, over a year for that to happen, but we finally have her where we can actually handle she her. She was a never bit. mean. She was just skittish. She was right. scared. And I think she's not scared. And then the now. baby calf that we have that's like six months right now, it will be eventually bred next year. So depending on its size, but if you look at them size comparison, they're all it's almost as big as what we have now. She's about eight months. Yeah. So she's pretty. She's getting up there in size. Yeah. She gets bullied a little bit, but hopefully, but in the, throughout the summer, we'll get her up to where we can go. So we're back down to two. Instead of maybe two and a half, <laughs> instead of we had four out here at one point. So, um, a lot has changed over the past couple of weeks. Um, a lot's going to continue to change going through the summer. We have big plans, big vi- business adventures. We have a lot going on uh, along with our jobs and homeschooling our kids. So, if you like what we're doing, you like what we're about, you like to see what we're doing, please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, and come back and see us. You can come over here. Don't be shy. <laughs> Hold on, it's really loud. We're in the barn. Stand by. Hey guys, look. <laughs> Had an itch. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Alexis and my husband's name is Brandon. Um, about a year ago, we sold our house in town. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Our cat just jumped off the rafters. Oh, we need to have an outtake video of this. Maybe slow that down in slow motion because I'm sure I jumped. All Holy right. shit. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> that cat kamikaze. Okay, I'm good.